Hi, Duncan here with Vespa TV. Welcome back to find out a little bit more about the latest in digital printing. We're here about to meet with the famous Benny Lander, godfather of Indigo, the man behind nanography. So let's go find out a little bit more about it, yeah? Uh, really pleased to be joined here today uh, by Mr. Benny Lander. Some of you may uh, well know that name from uh, Days Gone By with Indigo, but uh, Benny's back with uh, a brand new technology. Um, Benny, welcome to Festival TV. Thank you very much. Um, Thank you. Great to have you with us. Thanks for, for taking the time. Um, can you tell me in, in brief, what, what is nanography? Nanography is a new category of digital printing mm -hmm. that's based on uh, um, nanometer size, there's tens of nanometer size pigments inside what we call nano ink that are ejected digitally onto a hot conveyor blanket belt and there the images are dried to very very thin films of only 500 nanometers thick, that's about half the thickness of offset ink and then transferred dry to paper forming a very tough bond on the paper, abrasion resistant sharpest edges, highest uh, um, color gamut, and having fabulous imaging properties. And because the ink is so thin, it enables us to provide the lowest cost per page of any digital printing process. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, so that sounds pretty exciting stuff. What, yeah. What's it for? Where's, where's it aimed at? And, and how are you okay. going to get it there? Well, it is not aimed at replacing offset printing mm -hmm. for very long runs. For example, tens, if you have tens of thousands of sheets that you require, or hundreds of thousands of sheets, I don't think in the foreseeable future any technology will challenge offset printing. However, because of the use of plates and the make-ready time, as you get to shorter and shorter runs, offset becomes less and less economical. And digital can start from a run, run length of one and be profitable. However, because of digital's, today's digital relatively low speed, high cost per page, and format limitations, as you get to longer run lengths, it becomes prohibitively expensive. So you have this gap between where offset is profitable, where digital is profitable, it's a huge gap, and that's what we fill. And how are you um, going to market? I, I know in recent days you've announced some partnerships uh, yes. Yes. with the likes of Man Roland. Um, uh, is Man that Roland, part of your strategy? Heidelberg or? and Kamari, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Our strategy here is a very simple one. We could have a monopoly if we chose. We have strong patents, uh, unique technology. We have no doubt that we could be there alone. But that's not what this industry needs. For customers to make a decision in this industry, customers are generally family-owned businesses. For them to buy a significant piece of equipment, spend a lot of money on their mortgage their homes, or borrow money from their mothers-in-law, it's a major commitment. They have to know two things. One, I'm buying the right technology, and two, I'm buying it from the partner I know and trust. The relationship between commercial printers and the existing vendors of offset presses are so strong. There's so much trust there that we can hit two birds in one stone. All, and most of the major press vendors have already embraced nanography for the next generation of their printing presses. Heidelberg, Kamori, and Manorola. And that says to the customers, hey, no matter who you buy from, you're making the right decision because this has been accepted industry-wide. The second thing is, customer, Mr. Customer, you have a choice. You can buy from me or you can buy from someone else. And if you have a strong and trusty relationship with me, you'll buy from me. So that should help customers get off their hands, enable them to more confidently make the capital investments that over the past five years, very few have been making. Fantastic. Well, Benny Lander, thank you very much for talking to us Thank you, my pleasure. Appreciate it.